Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Proconia Piva and it's the 6% St. Joseph's Street Rye Stout at 6% ABV. Really pleased to have this beer. I stopped off in Poland a couple of weeks back. I went to Birofilio Festival, amazing place. Um, done a bit of judging, but when I landed in Krakow Airport, I was picked up by the lovely people of House of Beer and the head brewer of this brewery, the owner of this brewery, Brakownia Piva. Uh, we, we dashed off 11 o'clock in the night, I think it was either 10 or 11 o'clock at night, straight to the brewery, drunk some really good beers at the brewery, in the, straight from the vessels, straight from the conditioning tanks, great stuff. Um, check out my video, just put in Braconia Piva uh, Brewery Tour and you will find it. Uh, lovely people, but they sent me away with this. St. Joseph Street Rice Stout, 6% ABV, 15% Plateau. I like a stout, I like rye. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Gold cap. Now if you guys from House of Beer are watching, um, I did record some beer reviews at House of Beer. We left the brewery, went to House of Beer, recorded some beer reviews, but unfortunately they, they came out really dark. There was no light in the videos. They were, it just wasn't wasn't happening basically. Not very. I couldn't publish them. They were just, it was just too dark. So um, really enjoyed myself at your bar. Great stuff. Sad to say that the beer reviews just didn't make it. Um, this beer in the glass has a one finger tan coloured head. It is bottle conditioned, you can see little bits and pieces of yeast there floating around. Not a problem, I should have checked before I poured the beer, I should have left a little bit of that beer in the bottom, so my fault there. Um, jet black beer, no like getting in there. Let's get the aroma. Oh man, that smells absolutely wonderful. Roasted malt, chocolate, loads of coffee in there. But you can smell that spicy rye. It's, it's making my glands salivate, my saliva glands are salivating just at the, the aroma of this beer. Smells so good, so so good. I'm gonna have to dive in. Cheers. Mm. Oh my! Stone the crows. Stone the crows. First thing I notice about this beer is the amazing, creamy, velvety texture, body, big full body to the beer. Mm. That body is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Such a big creamy consistency. Then you have the follow through of the malt, the chocolate, bitter dark chocolate, and then the bitter coffee. And then it goes over into a longing hoppy bitterness. Really really good beer <laughs> oh the hops nice and fruity 
they're full on. It's a big ramping bitterness on this. It's a nice finishing bitterness. Sometimes with these beers, these stouts, it's a bitter stout from start to finish, just from that roasted malt. But this one has got a lot of balance to it. Loads of big biscuity chocolate coffee caramel malt up front. They give way, they subside to a lovely hoppy bitter finish. But above all with this beer, the biggest thing that stands out with this beer by far is the mouthfeel. It's like velvet. It really is a velvety, wonderfully constructed beer. And look at that, I don't know if you can see that. There's a yeast cake there on the bottom of the bottle. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Proper beer. Proper beer. None of that forced carbonated rubbish. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm looking at the label. It's all in Polish. I'm looking for English here, but there's not going to be any English here. Um, I, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that beer. It's so tasty. I brought it home. I've got some special beers as well. I've got some really, really special beers from Braconia Piva in the fridge to review soon. Um, after this one, they're going to be bonkersly good. Really, really good. Nice spicy rye as well. Kind of hits you in the middle, beginning to middle. And then again, yeah, a lovely hoppy finish. Um, this beer from this brewery. Now this brewery, it's there's a few breweries in, in Poland that are brewing beer and they're selling it straight away. They can't brew it quick enough. These guys are expanding all of the time. Um, they What a great brewery they've got at the moment, but I've seen their plans, I've seen what they've got in the future. And they're going to double in size. Double in size. And I'm not surprised by that whatsoever. The quality of this beer is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The mouthfeel, just everything. I'm not going to harp on anymore about how good this beer is. I'm just going to rate it. And it gets a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.